Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical trials programming. In one of the previous videos, we have seen how there are three oncology specific SDTM domains. So we will see a quick recap of what are those three domains and what information those three domains contain. And then we will see how to easily remember the variables in TR domain. So what happens in an oncology clinical trial is we first identify the tumors present in the body of a patient and then we assess or measure those tumors and then we identify the response of those tumors to our study treatment. The domain in which we store the list of identified tumors is our TU domain and then the domain in which we store the results or measurements of those tumors are TR and then the response of those tumors will be stored in a domain named RS. And now we will see how to easily remember the variables in TR domain. Let's say there is a patient and then he underwent MRI scan to identify the tumors. And let's say this patient was identified as having three target lesions and six non-target lesions during the screening, measure, screening assessment. And then for target lesion, we measure the diameters over the course of the study. So during screening and also during treatment and also if needed during the follow up period. So we measure the diameters of the target lesions and we also check for the presence, whether it is present or absent for non-target lesions. So what are the questions that would be asked? So which study is this? And then which patient is this? And then whether scan is performed. If it is not performed at a predetermined visit, why it is not performed? The reason will be collected. And if it is performed, we will have the date of scan collected and we'll also have the scan method. So it can be your methods like MRI scan or your CT scan or X-ray or sometimes we even photography would be sufficient whether the lesions in case where the lesions are externally visible. And then the tumor identifiers. So in one of the previous videos on TU domain, we have seen that we would give a unique number to the each of the tumor identified in the body. So for target lesions, so we give numbers like T01, T02, etc. And for non-target, we may give numbers like NT01, NT02, etc. And we will have all those tumors assessed during post baseline assessment to see how the patient or the tumors are responding to the study treatment. So the identifiers, which tumor are we measuring now, whether it is T01, T02, etc. <coughs> and then the tumor measurement. So whether what is the diameter of the target lesion T01. In the case of measurement for non-target lesions, so we will check for the status of that, whether it is present or absent. And who evaluated? Similar to what we have discussed in TU domain variables. So there can be cases where the scans would be evaluated by the investigators at site and also at a central reading facility. So in that case, so we need to know who evaluated or what whose result is this like who evaluated the result of this scan so whether it is investigator or the central reading facility staff and if there are multiple evaluators so we need to know which of those evaluators have uh, whose so which evaluators result is this so we need to know what are the variables that would be used to store each of this information we know that study ID would be used to store the study identification number and then we use U sub ID to store the subject level information and then the scan performed thing. So it would be stored in the variable TR STAT and if the, it is not done, so we store the reason not done in the variable TR, REAS for reason, ND is for not done, tumor response reason not done. And if it is performed, we know that we'll have the date of scan and we store that in TRDTC variable and the method of scan. So we have seen that it would be stored in TU method and TU domain. We use the variable TR method in TR domain. And for the tumor identifier, we have seen that it would be stored in the variable TU link ID in TU domain. We store it in a variable named TR link ID in TR domain. And then the measurement. So what is the diameter or whether it is present or absent thing will be stored in our tumor measurement. It is nothing but the result. So we store the 
result in original result variable T R O R R E S and if we standardize it we use the variable T R S T R E S C the standard result in character format and then who evaluated we have seen we will use T U eval in T U domain here we will use the variable T R eval and then the evaluator ID so we will store it in TR eval ID variable. So in any SDTM domain, when we have date collected, and to be specific, if in, in any findings domain, so the date would be associated with a pre-specified visit or an unscheduled visit. So we will have the variables visit num, visit, and visit dy automatically should come into our mind whenever we have the date variable. So and then we derive epoch based on the TRDTC to know whether the assessment is done during screening or treatment or follow up period. So and we also derive our study day to store our TRDY uh, to store uh, study day variable study day will be stored in our variable TRDY and then we are storing the results so they should be associated with a test. So we use the okay so here we are seeing the other result associated variables so when we have a result we also need to know what is the unit say for example when we are measuring the diameters we need to know whether it is assessed in terms of millimeters or centimeters so that unit would be stored in tr or resu variable and if it is standardized and the character format would be stored in tr str esc and the standard result in numeric format will be stored in the variable tr str esn and the standard result unit would be stored in your tr str esu say for example if the originally the result or the diameter is collected in terms of centimeters but if you want to report it in terms of mm so you would store the original result collected as in centimeters in your tr or res but the converted value in mm would be stored in your standard result variables and the unit mm will be stored in tr str esu and now we will see some of the test series that would be used to store the information of these two tumor types so for diameter we may use the parameter or the test cd named diameter so there are other variants like l diam or s diam so but we are using one generic one here for diameter to store the results associated with the target lesions and for the case of non-target lesion we use a test cd value of tum state tumor state for non-target lesions so this is how you can easily remember the variables in tr domain Thank you for watching and keep learning.